Zeho is an uprising electric mobility brand that was created by CF Moto. Even though products by the CF Moto subsidiary are already well known on the Asian markets, the European and North American public have only gotten to know them at this year's Milan Motor Show. At their EICMA stand, Zeho displayed a production ready AE8 scooter, as well as the futuristic magnet concept, destined to be turned into reality in the near future. Zeho AE8 is marketed as an electric alternative to 250cc scooters. It is motivated by a mid mounted, liquid cooled motor with 12.5 kilowatts of peak output and 160 pound feet of torque. When combined with a 69 volt, 33 amp hour dual battery system, this powertrain shows 0 to 30 miles per hour acceleration time of 2.6 seconds and the maximum riding speed of 60 miles per hour. The official range estimations for this model are 75 miles on a charge. AE8 is equipped with an adjustable rear shock absorber with rebound damping, Maxxis sport tires, Brembo brake calipers, and Bosch dual channel ABS. The technological package is strong with this one too. You are treated with a super fast charging system that can get from 0 to 80% in 2 hours, have an access to a cruise control, GPS tracking, keyless proximity unlock technology, smart central lock, push assistance, and over-the-air software updates. All the available features can be activated via a smart control app, while performance metrics can be observed on a 5-inch LCD display. Zeho Magnet Concept makes an even greater emphasis on high-tech features. Here, you'll get new lights, functional body wings, and an intelligent rider dashboard that uses front and rear high-definition cameras to provide cutting-edge driving assistance. In terms of performance, Zeho Magnet is said to accelerate from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, offers the maximum speed of 93 miles per hour, and has the riding autonomy of 125 miles in the NEDC cycle. The 125 e-scooter is one of the best electric alternatives to 125cc scooters that is currently available for purchase. Despite this, the manufacturer decided to go even further and introduced a variety of improvements to make this model faster, more capable, and maneuverable. The new 125 Performance received a 7.5 kilowatt electric motor that is hidden inside the rear hub motor. The new motor now supports an e-boost power function that unlocks the 11.5 kilowatt peak output capabilities. The e-boost can be activated for 30 seconds and is useful when you need additional power to overtake other vehicles on the road. In the e-boost mode, the 0 to 30 mile per hour acceleration is slashed to 2.9 seconds, a whole second faster than the 3.9 second reading in the regular mode. At the same time, the top speed is raised from 60 to 65 miles per hour. Besides the performance upgrade, this two-wheeler is now equipped with a fully adjustable Ulin's shock absorber in the back, new braking system by Golfer, and a double Alcantara passenger seat. As before, this scooter is powered by a swappable battery pack module. It has the total capacity of 5.6 kilowatt hours, letting you travel 85 miles without looking for a plug. The battery module could be recharged from a standard power outlet, and this process usually takes between 6 and 8 hours. Edeljet Dragster is a hybrid between a sport bike and a scooter. Edeljet proudly call their creation a Hyper Scooter, a vehicle that can be distinguished by its iconic trellis frame design and the famed riding agility. At this year's Milan Motor Show, Edeljet announced an upcoming upgrade to their Dragster. It will be offered with two powertrain options, a 450cc ICE powertrain capable of putting out 32 kilowatts at 8,000 RPM and a belt-driven all-electric powertrain. The zero emission model produces 12 kilowatts of peak power output and 265 pound feet of torque. It is scheduled to hit the market the second half of 2023. The electric dragster tips the scales at 330 pounds, has a wheelbase of 1,350 millimeters, 
with a seat height of 770 millimeters. The model will have adjustable shock absorbers both in the front and at the rear, hydraulic disc brakes with Brembo calipers, an ABS and a traction control system. The scooter's integrated 4.91 kilowatt-hour battery pack offers up to 111 miles of urban riding or 93 miles according to the NEDC cycle. SK3 is one of the most recent models by Horwin, so we were not at all surprised to see it at this year's Milan Motor Show. This zero-emission vehicle features a mid-mounted motor unit capable of putting out 6.2 kilowatts of peak power. As a result, you can expect a great power delivery and a comfortable city commuting experience at speeds up to 50 miles per hour. Out of the factory, the base modification of this scooter comes with one 72-volt, 36-amp-hour battery module. It can last for up to 50 miles of riding. If needed, the scooter can be equipped with a dual battery system. By installing an extra battery pack, you'd be able to go up to 100 miles per charge, but the additional module will decrease the available space in the underseat storage compartment. When depleted, each battery pack would require up to 5 hours to restore the full charge. The scooter is offered in three color schemes, has LED lighting, a smart battery management system, and CBS brakes. We should also note that SK3 won't remain the brand's most advanced product for long, since there was one more interesting model at the EICMA display. For the upcoming 2023 model year, Horwin is planning to produce a more advanced and more powerful maxi-scooter model, the Senmenti Zero. According to the preliminary spec sheet, it'll be able to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds, boast the 125 mile per hour top speed, and cover the distance of 186 miles at an average cruising speed of 55 miles per hour. Senmenti Zero will also support the 400-volt charging architecture, letting you go from 0 to 80% of charge in a mere 30 minutes. The list of standard features will also include ABS brakes, anti-slip system, tire pressure sensors, anti-collision alerts, start and reverse assists, as well as heated seats and handles. Yadea used the most recent Milan Motor Show to display their latest electric scooter model, the Voltguard VFV Pro. This electric two-wheeler has a seat with the length of 700 mm and the overall carrying capacity of 330 pounds, thus making it suitable for carrying two people. The two passenger credentials are backed up by the powerful 5.5 kilowatt mid-drive electric motor. This power unit can bring the scooter from standstill to 30 miles per hour in just four seconds. It will also let you climb hills with 20-degree inclines and reach the limited riding speed of 50 miles per hour. The manufacturer decided to place two 72-volt, 27-amp-hour battery packs underneath the rider's feet, thus freeing extra room in the underseat compartment. As a result, you have 21 liters of volume for storing your belongings. The new Voltguard VFV Pro scooter is equipped with 14-inch front and rear tires and has hydraulic shock absorption both in the front and at the rear. The manufacturer estimates that you'd be able to travel up to 125 miles in the eco mode with the average speed of 18 miles an hour. Traveling at higher speeds usually drains the battery at a faster pace, but you can rely on a regenerative braking system to capture some of the excess energy on the go. F01 is a new addition to the Vmoto brand lineup. It is aimed specifically at fleet operators, delivery services, and B2B applications. Despite the Vmoto's Asian origin, the F01 scooter is said to be designed completely in Italy. When developing this model, the Vmoto engineers concentrated on making a product that will have low maintenance costs, flexible integration options, advanced safety systems, swappable batteries, easy ride controls, and a comfortable riding experience. The F01 is offered in two body styles, with a single seat or a dual seat, and two performance variations. The L1 class model offers 2,000 watts of power, while an L3 model generates 4,000 watts of output. All modifications are supplied with a 60-volt, 45-amp-hour battery unit that reportedly lasts for 50 miles of riding. 
The manufacturer claims that these autonomy estimates were recorded at an average speed of 28 miles per hour with a 165-pound rider. Depending on the chosen powertrain, you can expect to travel at the maximum speed of 28 miles per hour for the L1 class or 45 miles per hour for the L3 class. The UK-based Zap is trying to tap into the growing personal mobility market with their new i300 model. This sit-down scooter has a comfortable step-through design with a chromoly steel frame, a single-sided swing arm, and an exoskeleton seat structure. The two-wheeler is offered in several versions, the most common being base and launch editions. Both get composite bodywork that is completed using no oven, no autoclave technology. In case of the latter, the panels are from carbon fiber, the drivetrain system joins efforts of a permanent magnet electric motor, rated for 14 kilowatts and 62.69 pound-feet of torque, and two battery packs hidden within the scooter's floor. These are removable and are good for 60 mile per hour speeds and 37 miles of riding. Last year, Honda announced their intent to bring 10 new electric urban mobility vehicles by 2025, and it seems that the first model in this lineup is edging closer to mass production. At this year's EICMA show, Honda displayed the EM1E, a city-oriented electric scooter scheduled to go on sale in mid-2023. The major technical specifications of EM1E have not been announced, but we do know that the two-wheeler will have an estimated riding speed of 32 miles per hour and 25 miles of range. So, instead of equipping their scooter with large and heavy battery packs, Honda made an emphasis on the importance of battery swapping and showcased the newly developed mobile power pack system. This system works with battery packs that are designed to withstand different temperatures, humidity levels, impacts, and vibrations, and are characterized by the ease of swapping. The mobile power pack system is equipped with a special home charging setup that would enable you to replenish the battery charge in the comfort of your home. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.